hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna do a quick unboxing video it's been a while so i thought i'd shoot a quick one for you um this piece is something i picked up um in vancouver um actually my uh, cousin picked it up for me they rarely have this piece in stock so i was super excited and i told my cousin to buy it for me um it's actually cheaper to buy it in canada too so um, i'll let you know how much i paid in total after I unbox this. All right, let's get started. It's a small little SLG. And here we go. It is the Chanel card holder. Now, um, the card holder I have here is the one with gold hardware. Um, and let's see, does this come with a authenticity card anymore? Let's see. It doesn't look like it. I don't see it at all. Um, yeah, there's no authenticity card here, it looks like. So this is the packaging. Huh, okay. Well, does it have a serial number? So there is some sort of sticker here in the middle. Um, other than that, that's all. So there's no serial number um, anymore, it seems. This is a 2023 piece. I did um, get a 20... Uh, 2022 piece or was it 2021 I can't remember but I do have this also in a silver color hardware and this one came with the um, this one came with a card but um, that it looks like the the 2023 version of it does not come with a a, a card anymore um, instead it comes with a looks like it's a more complicated sticker that I see um, here. The sticker is in the center. Maybe it's got a chip in it. Maybe it's chipped. Maybe that's why. Um, anyways, if you guys know, let me know. Um, I have two of these now, and the reason why I got the gold one is I actually initially wanted to have the gold one, um, but and I waited and waited and never got the call from my SA. Um, and then I ended up getting a silver one just by, by chance. So I bought the silver one, and then eventually, two years later, um, cousin walked into a store and they had a gold and gold hardware piece. So yeah, he picked it up for me. So now I have two of these. Awesome. So let me see. It looks like I don't see much difference between the two. The color of them look pretty much the same. I think mine is a little more shiny, like my old one, than this one. This one looks a little bit more matte, but I don't know if it has something to do with just the use, usage and just handling it. I mean, I haven't handled it that much. I've only had it for, like like I said, less than, less than two years. Um, overall, I find that um, this piece has really held up really well for me. Um, one thing is... I noticed that the hardware, once you remove the sticker from it, it does get scratched. So this piece does have some surface scratches. Um, sorry, let me see if I can show you. It's kind of really hard to tell. It does have some surface scratches. Um, this one's brand new, so you know there's still a sticker on there, but eventually that sticker is going to fall off. So you know you can do your best, but. You know after a while it'll fall off um it looks like the back pocket of this is also the same as the one from two and a half years ago so they haven't really changed that if you got like one of the older mo models of this of this card holder you'll notice that um you might not actually have a pocket in the back so some of the older models don't even have that but um this piece i think is a 2021 so it did come with the back pocket I think the 2019 one probably doesn't. I think that one does not have a back pocket. What I like, what I love about this is how much it actually holds. Like, look at all the cards that you can put in it. 
I have like, like at least over 10 cards in here and I have a I was able to stick a bunch of cash in there too and also you could put your favorite your favorite card in the front pocket here like the one you use the most I use my Costco card the most so I put that in the back and then here you can stuff your credit card in there if you like um, and this is like I said it's one of my most favorite SLGs ever um, and it's held up pretty well it's really stuffed right now because I have like um, a bunch of small bills are in and some bills like just folded up so um, yeah why do I carry so much cash right I made the mistake of paying um, paying for dinner today with with a large bill and I got a whole bunch of cash and I can barely even close it anymore so anyways um, if you have any questions let me know um, overall like I said the wear and tear of the of the caviar piece is quite good it's holding up for me quite well and this is my um, most used piece actually I have the wallet of this as well the long wallet and I find that um, the caviar on that one is a little nicer than these um, these are actually part of Chanel's like regular lineup I guess I could say like not seasonal pieces so um, the caviar on the non-seasonal pieces like at least for the for the classic pieces like the like the card holder, the lo the long wallet, the gusset wallet, like the Chanel classic flaps. They the caviar on those are really really nice. Um, I find that these this caviar is okay. It's a little more matte when compared to my long wallet, um, and it's probably not as nice as my long wallet, but it's still pretty nice. It's definitely better than the seasonal caviar that you get with some of the seasonal bags. Um, I do have like a seasonal piece, um, bag that I purchased from the, let me see, the 20, 22C collection, I believe it was. And, um, and the caviar is, is not quite as, not quite as luxurious as this. Um, so if you get the standard pieces, like the classic pieces from Chanel, um, I personally find the caviar is a little nicer, so I feel like I feel like these type of pieces, like these SLGs, are actually really worth it. Um, I prefer the card holder. Some people like the really thin card holder. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I like to carry. I almost use this kind of like a wallet, so I need to be able to hold more than just a few cards. And I like to carry cash, and I have a lot of different types of membership cards and whatnot. So I need something a little bit larger than just a thin compact uh, card holder. Um, so this works great for me. Um, yeah, so let me know if you have further questions and I'll get back to you.